guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be creating this makeup look. I hope you're excited about wedding week because makeup tutorials are my favorite thing on YouTube and I miss makeup tutorials so I wanted to bring them back. I wanted to do a whole week of over the top dramatic makeup looks and it is the wedding season so I thought what better to do than to create bridal makeup looks and you guys enjoy watching bridal makeup tutorials as well. In my previous bridal makeup tutorial videos, lots of you wanted to see more drugstore products and and I thought hell yeah the first video of wedding week definitely have to do with drugstore products I'm so happy to create this look for you guys and if you wear this if you recreate this please don't forget to tag me on Instagram because I really 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 love to see your recreations on my looks and I really want to make sure that I help you guys and you learn something from my videos because that's why I do this you know I want to make you feel beautiful and don't worry if you are a soon-to-be bride I know you're gonna rock it I hope you have a fabulous day and you feel like a princess and you look like a goddess trust me you can totally do your makeup yourself all it takes is a little bit of practice 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 your makeup before you actually wear it on your wedding day because you want to make sure it looks nice in all light you want to make sure the products work for you I'm here to recommend products that work and I can only test out on this face so I highly highly recommend you to try out all of these products and make sure they work for you it's like a trial and error you have to find products that really really work for you take pictures take pictures in flash photography take pictures in natural light make sure your makeup looks good it does not flash back don't use any SPF so just keep these little things in mind and definitely do a trial run before you actually wear this makeup on your wedding day and see how you feel in it because that's incredibly important that you feel beautiful so yeah this is the first video of wedding week and there are many more to come soon so definitely subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any of these fun videos I'm gonna be creating different makeup looks for different types of brides I'm gonna do smoky looks I'm gonna do neutral looks this is a pinky one I'm gonna do purple blue let's see I have lots of ideas in mind and I want to make sure that this wedding season you have a tutorial to follow I'm gonna enjoy this so much I'm so excited I'm prepping for this this is going to be amazing <laughs> so yeah enough blabbering let's move on to the tutorial now so before you start with your makeup you want to make sure you're completely sorted with your skincare you have applied your toner your serum your moisturizer and your eye cream because your skincare is so important your makeup will only look as good as your skincare and you want to make sure you do that to the T so your makeup can look as good and fresh as possible so the first step is of course priming your face and I'm gonna use the NYX pore filler primer I'm gonna take about that much just a little bit and apply that on my nose and right hair where you get larger pores you don't want to apply this all over the face because it can be quite mattifying now I'm gonna take the Nykaa conceal and correct palette and I'm gonna pick up this orangey shade and you want to use a color corrector just to correct any uneven skin tone any darkness any blue or green tones under your eyes to conceal those dark circles this will really go a long way especially in pictures because you can look a little bit grey in pictures if you haven't color corrected and you know you're gonna take a lot of pictures on your wedding day if you do not have a color corrector and if you don't want to spend the money on it just try doing this with an orangey ready kind of lipstick because a lipstick is gonna be kind of creamy it's gonna do the same thing and you want to make sure you apply very very thin layers of products on your face because we are going to be building up a lot of products so you want to make sure you keep the layers as thin as possible so they don't cake up in person because you want to make sure your skin looks good in pictures but also looks good in real life because you're going to be meeting and hugging a lot of people now moving on to your foundation a budget foundation that I absolutely love is the pack HD foundation I have two shades 1.9 and 1.7 I keep switching between both the shades and right now I'm actually in the middle of both the shades so I'm just gonna take one pump of this and one pump of this and mix them together but I did find that this is one of the best drugstore foundations it photographs absolutely beautifully it has no flashback it has medium to full kind of coverage so I love the coverage of this as well I'm just spreading it around with a brush first because I don't want to apply too much product as I said because if I pick it up with a beauty blender I am gonna pick up more product you always want to blend it down your neck because you don't want to have a line on your neck so always just take it down on your neck I love that this has a yellow undertone 
Now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just bounce it into the skin. You really wanna push it into the skin. And this is going to make your foundation look really, really natural in person as well. You wanna make sure you take your time bouncing your sponge on your face because the more time you take bouncing it on your face, the more natural your foundation is gonna look. Now for concealer, my current favorite drugstore concealer is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I have two shades, one that matches my skin tone and one that is a little bit lighter so I can highlight with it. So I'm taking a mixture of C5 and C10. So I'm just gonna use C10 first to conceal the under eye bags. Conceal around here because a little bit of corrector may still peek through. Just a little bit, don't apply too much. And now again, you want to keep bouncing it on your face. Now to highlight, I'm going to take the shade C5 and I'm going to do a little bit of sculpting with this. So I'm taking it along the sides of my nose and creating this triangle. And you want to make sure you go in that inner corner you see right there because most of us get darkness in the inner corner. Under my brow bone, again, just a little bit more highlighting. This is also going to help shape your nose and over here just to highlight things more and now you just want to blend and beat your face now you want to take a concealer that matches your skin tone exactly it's not like lighter than your foundation it's not darker it matches your skin perfectly like the foundation perfectly because you want to conceal any spots and scars and you never want to apply a lighter concealer on that because that's just gonna highlight things so I'm gonna take the pack concealer palette and I'm gonna pick up a shape that I think matches me and do you see that scar over there I'm just gonna conceal that particular scar because you want to look absolutely flawless on your wedding day so if you have any of those acne scars this is how you want to conceal them and just pat 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 around them so it's completely covered now it's time to set your face and I recommend using a translucent powder to set your face because it's really going to prolong your makeup, keep things mattified and I really like the Bharat and Doris loose powder. This is in the shade 03. There are very few drugstore loose powders that I like so this is one of them. It really really sets your makeup, does not look cakey, does not flash back. But before you apply your powder, you want to make sure you go over your face one more time and just bounce the sponge around because your concealer, anything your concealer foundation will settle into creases under your eyes, creases on your face because nothing in the world is crease proof. Everything will get into your creases. So you want to make sure you bounce your sponge along and smooth out those creases and apply your powder quickly after that. We're not baking right now. We're just setting things in place. Wherever you applied your concealer, you want to apply a little bit of translucent powder there. Okay, now that those areas are set, I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to dip it straight into the powder and now I'm going to bake. Because this is what is going to make your makeup last super long. And I'm also going to shape my nose. Now you want to let that sit for around 5 to 10 minutes. Just chill, check your messages, follow me on Instagram to see what is up with me. Look at this. <laughs> this is why you don't wear fancy clothes before you do your makeup. Now that it's had around 5 to 10 minutes sitting and chilling and baking on your skin, you want to take a duo fiber brush that is super soft. It's not going to move your makeup around. And you really just lightly want to dust off all that bake. Now if you have dry skin, I recommend not leaving the powder on for too long. And while you're dusting it away, just setting the rest of your face with that, now to set the rest of your face, you want to use a pressed powder. I'm using the Nykaa one. I absolutely love it. I've gone through like two or three of these. This is in the shade Natural Ivory. It does have a little bit of coverage. So it's going to add just a little bit more coverage. And it's not very drying, which is great. Now you want to do your eyebrows and you want to make sure you use a waterproof product. So you can either use a pomade or you can use an eyebrow pencil which I find that these are easier to use. If you want to use a pomade, these are great. They are sweat proof, they are waterproof, they are amazing. So definitely check out a pomade if that's something that you're interested in. For now, I'm just going to use a pencil. This is the Colourpop Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Banging Brunette. This is waterproof and it really really stays on, I really like it, plus it's super super thin so you can easily just go in and draw hairs. 
You want to make sure you hold the pencil from the very far end so you don't apply a lot of pressure because if you were to use it from here, you would unknowingly apply a lot of pressure and just create lines that don't look like here. And the same thing goes with eyeshadow. You want to hold the brushes from the far end so you never apply a lot of pressure. And when you really really need to fill in those ball patches and just create a shape, you can go ahead and use the pencil like this but just make sure you never ever apply pressure. Now after that is done, I do like to use a little bit of powder just to create more dimension, more shape and I always like an ombre brow so they're lighter from here and then they go darker as they go outside. So I'm gonna use this shade from the pack eyebrow palette and this is the shade Auburn so I'm gonna actually use both the shades I'm gonna pick up the lighter shade first and just flick it along the inner portion of my eyebrow first again I'm holding the brush from the very far end I'm holding the brush from kind of like the middle because I do want to apply just a little bit of pressure and just blend it into the rest of the eyebrow and now I'm gonna pick up the darker shade and set the rest of my brow with that. Okay, so those are the brows done. I do like to extend the tail just a little bit more because that does make my eyebrows look longer and I feel like when your eyebrows look good, your whole face is just better framed. Now I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I found the perfect kind of pinky affordable palette that I wanted to use in this video and that is the Kali Bible palette. I absolutely love it, it is beautiful. And there are so many stunning pinky shades in this palette. I'm gonna start with this shade and just apply that all over the eyelid as a base so all the rest of the shadows can blend better. Now I'm gonna take this shade, dust off most of the excess product and apply that in my crease. Now that we have that nice transition, I'm gonna pick up this mauve shade and apply that just a little bit below where we have that brown and I'm gonna keep building that up I want to keep this look very very non-complicated and simple and easy to recreate if you get any fallout you just want to go back to your duo fiber brush and dust it away you can do your eyes before you do your base I just never do that. I feel like I always need a blank canvas before I start drawing other things on my face. So I always need to have my base done. Now switching to a smaller brush, this is the pack 042. I am gonna pick up this burgundy shade just to deepen up the outer corner. I don't want to make it too deep because again this is a very subtle, daytime appropriate kind of bridal look. I say subtle. But I know in the end it's not going to come out looking so <laughs> You want to keep building it up until you're happy with the intensity. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my favorite shade in this entire palette and that is this pinky goldeny kind of duochrome shade. It is absolutely beautiful. That is going all over the lid. I'm going to take a MAC 242 and just wet that a little. And I'm going to pick up the same shade on that brush and just create a half cut crease. I know I do this a lot but trust me it looks so beautiful. It's easy to do and yeah I absolutely love this kind of look. Look at that. It looks so stunning. I absolutely love the pinky goldy kind of look. I'm gonna go back to that burgundy shade and just help blend all of that a little. Now I'm gonna use the Revolution Pro Gel Eyeliner. This is super super thin, it's like a 0.5mm kind of eyeliner and I just wanna apply a thin black line on my top lid just to define the eyes a little bit. And be careful when you're clicking it because once you click it out, you can't put it back in, so only click out as much as you need. Now that we have that thin line defining the eyes, I'm going to take a liquid liner and this is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, also completely waterproof. The Revolution Pro is also super waterproof, so they're great for weddings because you're going to be crying a little as well. 
I hope you don't. I hope you have a lovely, lovely wedding and you're really happy and you don't want to cry even a little bit. But I know weddings can be emotional. So now you just want to trace along that line, fill in any white spaces. Now if you're someone that doesn't feel comfortable with wings, because lots of people just prefer having a defined line instead of a wing. So if this is what you want, you can just stop right there, apply your mascara and falsies. But I personally feel like I look much better with a wing. It elongates my eyes, it makes everything look lifted and just happy and just better in my opinion because I love winged eyeliner. So I'm gonna draw a wing now. But trust me, I love how this looks. This looks super minimalistic and elegant. So if that is the look that you're going for, definitely keep it this way. That's it, just a small wing. I don't want to go too dramatic with the wing today. And I love that this liner dries completely matte. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Glitter Galaxy and Shy Style palette. Look at this palette, oh my god. It is so beautiful. All sorts of glitter, all colors of glitter. And I do want to add a little bit of glitter because what are weddings without glitter? I'm just gonna take a small brush and wet it. And I'm gonna pick up this shade of glitter. And just sort of pat that where I applied the pinky shimmery shade. Now you want to take an eyelash color and just curl your eyelashes. And apply mascara. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Do not make the mistake of using a washable mascara on your wedding day. You definitely want to use a waterproof mascara because there are going to be tears. There are going to be emotional moments. So you want to make sure that your mascara does not slide off your face and ruin your makeup. So I just did the other eye off camera and for lashes I'm wearing these amazing pack mink lashes. They're the pack M85 lashes and look at how amazing and fluttery they are. They're absolutely gorgeous, so stunning, so beautiful. I love them. Plus they're super comfortable to wear so you can see I'm wearing them on this eye and what a huge difference lashes can make in your look. Okay now on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the NYX Fur Blacks eyeliner in the shade Oxblood. I feel like I've overused this eyeliner on my channel now. I absolutely love it. It's this beautiful berry kind of tone eyeliner. It is stunning. Oh, and by the way, for fixing my lashes, I use the Pack Lash Fixer Glue. I've been using it for a while and it's really, really nice. It has this brush on tip which makes application really, really easy. And I do recommend on your wedding day, definitely carry your eyelash glue with you if you're wearing false lashes. I feel like on your wedding day and during those wedding functions, getting eyelash extensions is just the best thing because then you won't have to constantly reapply false lashes. But if you are wearing false lashes, I highly recommend carrying your lash glue around with you because if they come off, if the glue comes off, if you cry and you know things get haywire, you definitely want to keep your eyelash glue with you. I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with the NYX Four Blacks eyeliner. Now taking a pencil brush, I'm just gonna smudge that. I'm gonna go back to the Kali Bible palette and pick up this burgundy shade on the same brush. And I'm gonna smudge that again with that shade. It's just gonna help set that eyeliner in place so it doesn't move throughout the day. And now you want to apply mascara on your lower lash line. Again, make sure it's waterproof. Taking the Kali Bible palette again, I'm going to pick up this shade on my brush. And I'm just going to clean up under the brows. I love how the eyes are looking. They're fun and glittery. I love the pinkiness. Now back onto the face. I'm going to bronze up using the Isadora Matte bronzer. I absolutely love it. This is definitely my favorite drugstore bronzer if I had to pick one. It is so just smooth and buttery and pigmented and blends well. I love it. The undertone is really 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 nice. It's quite warm so it brings some color back to your face and I'm just gonna bronze up with that. If you have extremely oily skin and you find that makeup wears off from your face really quickly, maybe you want to use a cream bronzer before you set your face with powder. You can use a cream bronzer and then go ahead and set everything with powder because if you layer cream to powder and then cream to powder, everything kind of sets and stays in place. But for me, I find that my bronzer lasts all throughout the day anyway so I don't have to apply a cream bronzer and then apply a matte bronzer you know but if you find that makeup wears off of your face really quickly then definitely use a cream bronzer and then set it 
with a powder but do remember to do your creams before you do your powders and before you set your face with your powder so I'm just applying this on the sides of my face basically to just add some warmth and dimension because my face is looking pretty flat right now definitely want to contour the forehead and trust me bronzing up is really really important especially when you're going to be taking a lot of pictures because flash can make you look super washed out so you definitely want to apply your bronzer to give dimension back to your face I have a large forehead so I do like to apply a lot of bronzer on my forehead. If you have a really really small forehead, just go along the sides of your forehead like this just to add a little bit of colour without making it look shorter. And remember to add highlight in the centre to bring that area forward. You have to customise makeup techniques to suit your particular face shape. You can't just do whatever someone else is doing. You have to make sure that you customise it so it suits you. Now to actually contour and add angles to my face and add proper shadow, I'm going to take the Kiko Smart Contouring Palette. This is a little more expensive than regular drugstore products but this is a great investment considering you get two different products here. This is a very grey toned bronzer so it's really really good to add those shadows. And this powder is a great dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. If you have been wanting the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and you don't want to spend that much money, definitely check this out because you do get a contouring palette and you also get this really beautiful highlight. It's not like a strobing, blinding glow. It's that beautiful lit from within glow that's not going to add any texture or glitter but still make you look glowy from within like the Hourglass Powders which I love. So I'm just going to take that contouring shade on a small brush and just go right there just to add a shadow. And I'm also going to use this to contour my nose because I don't like using really really warm bronzers on my nose because it's the centre of my face. So I like using slightly cooler toned bronzers to actually contour my nose. Okay, now that I've bronzed, I'm going to move on to the pack baking powder set. This is a step that I feel like I have to do when I'm doing full glam. I cannot do full glam without this because it just adds the most beautiful natural highlight to your face. It's completely matte, so it looks incredibly natural, but it still makes everything come together and it's just perfect. Small things like this make a huge difference in your overall makeup and how bright and fresh it looks. And I'm just gonna apply it on the sides of my nose to shape the nose and under my eyes to make sure all the dark circles are lifted. And you can see the instant brightening effect that has under the eyes compared to this one. You wanna make sure you use a very soft brush and a very light hand because you don't wanna move the concealer and the foundation and the corrector and all of those layers that we have underneath. So you want to be really careful and have and use just a very very light hand. Now you can see the under eyes are super highlighted so I'm going to balance things out by highlighting over here. Make sure you don't go too overboard with this like I feel like I've gone a little overboard. Make sure you don't go too overboard because it can give a white cast in flash. So definitely test out your makeup before you actually wear on your wedding day. Take pictures in natural light, take pictures in artificial light, see how your makeup looks, wear it throughout the day, see how it feels. Okay, now for blush, again the same thing, if you want your blush to last super long, definitely apply a cream blush and then go over that with a powder brush because blush is the first thing to leave your face whenever your makeup kind of starts to wear off. Blush is the first thing that's gonna go. I am using the Milani Rose Blush. This is in the shade Tea Rose. It's a beautiful pinky blush. I love it. And I do recommend applying just a little more blush than usual. Because again, as I said, blush is the first thing to leave your face. And if you are scared that you will not have any blush left, because you want to be a blushing bride, just use a cream blush beforehand and then top it off with a powder blush. And trust me, it will last all day. Okay, I feel like that's enough. That's a little more than I would usually apply, but that's fine. I'm gonna go back to the Kiko Smart Contouring Palette and pick up the beautiful highlighter shade and just apply that over here on my forehead because you don't want to apply too much highlight when you're taking pictures. It can look um, shiny and oily. 
If you also want to look like a happy glowing bride on your wedding day, just look at how beautiful that is. Oh God. And you also just want to apply it a little bit on the chin maybe. You can also apply it on your cheeks, right here on your apples. It looks really, really, really lovely when you do that. Because if you smile, there's going to be that beautiful glow which I love. Now I'm going to take the pack baked highlighter in the shade 09. This is a beautiful pinky, just oh my god, this is the most beautiful thing ever. It's a rose gold kind of highlighter, but I like to use it as a blush topper. It's a little dark to be used as a highlighter, but it's a little light to be used as a blush. So I like to use it as a blush topper. So I'm just going to do that like once because it's super pigmented and you just want to apply it on your cheeks on top of your blush to make your entire cheek shine and just look stunning and glowing. You could do that with the Kiko powder as well. I like to add 10,000 steps. <laughs> And now for an actual highlight highlight, I'm going to use the Pat Baked Highlighter in the shade 03. Now you can see this is pretty busted because I use it a lot and I took it on vacation with me and I dropped it so it shattered a little bit but I absolutely love it. It's a gold gold kind of highlighter and I wanted something gold because my dress is gold so that is going right on top of my cheeks. Now for lips, I'm gonna use the pack Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Hello Pink. It's a beautiful, just a stunning pinky lip liner. And look at that glow. Oh my god, you guys are constantly asking me what highlight I wear. I actually mix two or three different things. I'll wear the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, sometimes I'll wear the Kiko Smart Contouring Palette, and then I'll add highlighter on top of it. So it's usually a mixture of two or three things. You want to completely fill in your lips with that. This is a very, very pigmented, long-wearing lip liner. So this is going to form a great base for your lipsticks. Now, if you are a bullet lipstick person, which I totally am, I love bullet lipsticks. They are so much more comfortable to wear. But on your wedding day, I do recommend you wear a liquid lipstick because you're going to be hugging a lot of people. You're going to be eating. You're going to be talking. You're just going to be doing so much that you don't want to worry about your lipstick wearing off. So this is the pack one. This is the Retro Matte Gloss in the shade 61 Fierce Royalty. It's a beautiful pinky shade. So I'm just going to apply this. I wanted to wear something bright and fun because this is a bridal look but if you want to do a nude lipstick you definitely can it just depends on what kind of lipstick you feel comfortable wearing that is the beauty of makeup we don't all have to do the same thing and to fix everything in place now I'm gonna use the pack micro finish makeup fixer and this is one of the best makeup setting sprays drugstore high-end combined definitely get this one so I'm just gonna spritz my face with that to fix everything in place You just want to fan your face because that really, really fixes your makeup in place. So this is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful and learned something new. Please tag me on Instagram if you recreate this look. I would absolutely love to see your recreations. Oh my god, I forgot to set my eyebrows. So I'm just going to use a NYX eyebrow mascara in the shade Chocolate. And I'm just going to set my eyebrows in place. Okay, now we are done. <laughs> Please let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comments down below. I would absolutely love to know that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to share it with your friends and family so we can all grow together. Please subscribe to my channel. There's a little red button right there. And don't forget to hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I have a new video up and you don't miss out on any fun videos like this. I'm super pumped, seriously, because makeup is everything and I'm gonna play with a different kind of makeup every single day. It's gonna be epic. I'm super excited for Diwali. I'm super excited for this amazing weather. I love the chilly weather that we have in Delhi right now. It's perfect. Winter is like my season. I'm super happy in the winter time. So I'm in the festive mood and I also can't wait to attend weddings so I can eat all of the amazing food. <laughs> okay, enough blabbering. I should go now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you super soon in my next one. Bye-bye.